and break that out in our worksheet. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put the dividends first and say, say we're out of balance, but I should be able to reconstruct this 104, 500 with the temporary accounts. So we're gonna start with dividends. That's a debit balance account, a contra equity account, 53,600. And then we'll just go through the income statement. So I'm just gonna go through the income statement, and add the income statement accounts. So I, all I'm doing is sales, cost, goods sold, depreciation, other expenses, loss, uh, income before taxes, uh, income taxes, we should get to that uh, 158, 100. So I'm just gonna add these numbers here now. So I'm just adding those numbers, which was a credit for sales, 1185, cost of goods sold, 595, 386, and 362, 850, 21, 28, 350. And there we have it. So if we look at the debits and credits, the sales minus or uh, minus all the expenses is going to give us 158, 100 here. 158 100 so there's net income and then we have the the draws and of course now we're back in balance so that's what we're looking for and now we're just going to carry this formula down it didn't finish this formula because excel didn't see the other side of it so it didn't predict that that's what we want as it has been doing so now we're just going to continue the same thing we're just going to say this equals this number minus this number just as we've been doing all the way down and we could just copy this down so I'm going to put my cursor on autofill and just autofill this all the way down. So there we have that. Now we're just subtracting these out all the way down. And uh, that's what we're going to have here. So the only confusing thing about this worksheet, or there's a few confusing things, but we're, we're basically making the financial statements and like I said, deconstructing them to back to a trial balance. And we're taking the balance sheet as we do for a uh, indirect method and making it into a trial balance just with the balance sheet, like a post-closing trial balance. But now we're, we're basically reconstructing the adjusted trial balance here by, um, by, then, by then breaking out the temporary accounts. Now, of course, if we, had, when, if we had the adjusted trial balance, if we used that to create the financial statements, we could then use that. Uh, or if we just have the financial statements before, then we can recreate it, which is a good practice to do anyways because again it kind of makes us go the other way to deconstruct the financial statements so now we're going to have this this is going to be our tool now that we're going to use to create the uh, statement of cash flows and we'll we'll discuss how to go through that we're going to go through those in a kind of a step-by-step -step process we'll do these uh, cash flows from operations then uh, from investing activities and then financing activities